line. Got a huge fish here. I think it's a huge lingcod. Oh yeah. Oh. Popped up right between the rocks. Oh, there he is. Look at the sling cut. What a beauty, I gotta measure him. Oh yeah, 26 inches right on keeper. Nice. Gonna do a catch and cook with that guy. Let's double check this. There he is, there's his lip. And it goes right to 26. Just barely made it. What a cool fish. Just shy of six pounds. My biggest yet. That was so crazy. I got him right up there and uh, he got caught. He popped off right on the rocks and he was in there and I was reaching down, waves crashing down all of, over my back and uh, managed to get him out. I lost my fish grips though. They're between the rocks here. Maybe, maybe I can recover them once the tide comes in a bit. But yeah, that's pretty sweet. I got a uh, fish to take home. It's been a really slow day. Probably the ugliest rig ever. I was fishing a high-low rig with um, small weights, but then I just uh, clipped on this two ounce Cannonball sinker, little size one hook, and a three inch uh, paddle tail. And that's what caught that link odd. He was really peeling line. I was worried he was going to spool me, but it was all good. Okay, so that's going to do it for me. I could stay a little longer. I lost my rig and just feeling real good about that link cod. Unfortunately, I lost my lip grips. Some good times together.
but uh, not too bad. I'll take that sacrifice for the Lincoln. It's been a slow day and a hard fishing day, but just getting that one fish made it all worthwhile. It's like a two hour drive to get out here, so not for nothing. At least not today. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you when I take this guy in the kitchen. Those teeth. Man, those are the most weird teeth. Got them on the roof of their mouth. Okay, so I'm gonna fillet this guy up now. He's got a bit of rigor mortis. He's like pretty stiff. He's been sitting on ice overnight, but I'll try straighten him out and get some fillets off this guy. Just gonna try filleting him like I do all the other ones. Just cut behind the gill plate here, and then along the spinal cord. Big chunk of meat. Let's see if the cat likes it. Well, the cat seems to like it, and I've heard good things about it, so it should be good. No surprise there though. Looks like a nice clean white fish. I mean, look at this fillet. Nice thick white fillet. Got most of the meat. It's a little I missed on the belly here. But I'm gonna cut that off and uh, make cat food of that. Move that out the way so I can Seems to be some bones running along the center here, down to about there. Just chop those out now. Okay, so I just weighed it out and all that meat was about two and a half pounds, which is actually pretty good considering the fish weighed six pounds. I'm gonna have lunch right now and try it out. And then for dinner, I'm gonna have a link cod taco. So I'm just gonna do a herb crusted fish. So for my herb crust, I found this place in Port Townsend. It's this little shop and they got all these spices and teas and you can go in there and smell the jars, and it's really nice. But they had this little spice blend called Northwest Salmon Rub, and I picked some of that up. And basically it's got coriander, celery seed, cumin, fennel, dill, and star anise. It sounds pretty good. The store is called spiceandtea.com if you want to order some of their spices online. This recipe is pretty easy. Set your oven to 350. And we just want to take some olive oil. Put the filet. Put some salt on there. Some pepper. And some of the herb mix. 
so this recipe calls for four tablespoons, which is half a chunk of butter. Seems like a lot. You're supposed to just dribble that on. But I figure two tablespoons should be good. And I'm just gonna melt that. I'm just gonna pour that on the filet. Just gonna get my little dill here and do the sides. Try to get some of these herbs on the sides as well. I'm just gonna stick that in the oven for 20 minutes, maybe a bit longer. It's a pretty thick filet. We'll see how it cooks out. It looks pretty good. Just gonna give this a try. Looks really good. Smells incredible in here. Smells like butter. Mmm. Tastes as good as it smells. It's a nice interesting uh, herb blend. It's nice big white flaky meat. It's not soft, it's not too firm. It's just perfect actually. Really like this meat. Actually can't wait to have it in tacos tonight. Now I know why people are so crazy about these fish. A lot better than salmon. So that was really good. Um, can't go wrong with the uh, herb crust. Um, the meat's just awesome. I can't wait to eat the rest of that fish. But it's gonna make about four or five meals. There was a lot of meat. It's probably my new favorite meat. Go catch one and give this recipe a try.